Hey guys, Compulsion84 here. Today I've got a video showing you my compressor testing I did with PUBG. I tried it with various settings with a couple of different guns to see how much of an effect the compressor really had. What I did was, is I used Voice Meter Banana along with Virtual Audio Cable to set this up. And if you want to learn how to set up a compressor in Windows, check out the video I linked above that'll walk you through it. I'll also mention this will work in any Windows application and any game. I just did this in PUBG because that's the most important thing right now. And the most important thing to me because I was trying to reduce noise fatigue and avoid going deaf while sp still being competitive. Uh, what this enables you to do is to still hear footsteps without going deaf from explosions or gunshots. So what I'll show you real quick is the test method and how this works and how I measured audio. Then my three different tests. The first one was firing a shotgun and then running on an asphalt road. The second one was firing a UMP and running on the desert ground. And the third one is firing a Glock 18C and then running around on a roof. I'll show you some results and then I'll give you a conclusion. What I did was is I captured gameplay in OBS and then I exported the audio to Audacity. I analyzed the compressed tracks to look for the maximum volume difference from gunshots compared to running. So this shows the waveform playing, and in the upper right it shows the overall audio level with the zero being the maximum. So gunshots in these videos maxed out at zero. And that green bar shows the overall maximum that I'm currently paying attention to. So you see when I'm running it measures it at roughly 30 right now, and then when I fire my gun it spikes to zero. So I re-zero it out, it takes a new amplitude which for running is about negative 22, and the gunfire jumps it to zero. And this is the test that I did several different times. So voice meter runs with a compressor setting of 0 to 10. 10 is essentially 100% compression where it equalizes the waveform volumes. This first test I did is I ran with a shotgun holstered on the road and then I shot it into the air a couple times. So I ran this test in coarse increments all the way to max compression at 10. So I did 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. I repeated the test several times. I'm not going to show you all that. So all I'm really doing here is resetting my compressor setting, rerunning, and then reshooting in the air, and then I compared the results later. So here's the results I got for the asphalt run test with the shotgun. I will note that the shotgun volumes were adjusted to negative 0.1 versus zero where they actually were. This is solely just so they show up on the chart. And what this shows is, is a 27 decibel delta from, I'm gonna call max to min, um, I measured negative 27 decibels uncompressed while running, and I measured zero when I fired the shotgun. So that's your difference on how loud this is going to be. And this is comparing your relatively quiet noise of running on asphalt to the very loud noise of gunfire. You can see in the chart here, if you go from zero to two in compressor settings, you've got a significantly smaller decibel range. So you essentially have it. So what that means is, is your gunfire is no longer here and your footsteps here. Your gunfire is here and your footsteps are here. It's equalized down a bit, so it's not as extreme of a difference. And at four, you can see that the delta between the two is very small. It's only five decibels. At six, it's nearly identical. And then at 10, it is literally identical. And when you've got this at eight or 10 compressor settings, it's hard to hear anything because the footsteps are so loud. So the second test I did running around with an unholstered UMP in the desert. Same principles as the first test, I ran around, recorded the audio, fired the gun in the air, and then in post-production I compared the overall volumes. So after my first test, I realized that using a compressor setting of 8 or 10 or 80 or 100% was way too much. It made footsteps way too loud, killed the audio, and made it impossible to, to uh, locate or triangulate anything. So the next test I did, using an unholstered UMP running around on the desert ground, I did from 0 to 6 in one uh, compressor setting increments, i.e. 10% increments. So what I found is, is my volume was negative 31 running on the desert ground and zero firing gunshots. What was really neat was, is the compressor setting of two had nearly identical results to the first test, where it had a, uh, a decibel delta that was roughly halved the uncompressed sample shown at zero. The biggest difference was with compressor settings of about two and below. Once you got above two, you did get some more improvements, but it just started to uh, crush the waveform down a little bit, and it didn't make uh, hugely drastic differences unless you started skipping like to four or six. So the final test was shooting the super fun Glock 18C on a roof in the middle of nowhere. Same thing, I ran around, fired it, 
So for the final test, I used a little bit finer of a testing interval. I did it between zero and three, three being 30% compression, and I tested it at 0.5 intervals. So you can see here, I've got a negative 27, I'll call it maximum amplitude, or really I should say that's the delta between gunshots and running. At 0.5, it goes to negative 24. At one, it goes to negative 18. And at one and a half, it's negative 16. So at zero, you have 100% of your decibel difference. At 0.5, you have 89% of the original. One is 75%. 1.5 is 60%. Two is 44.5%. Two and a half is 37. And three is about 30%. So even with a compressor setting of three out of 10, you're significantly compressing your audio. You're taking out roughly two thirds, actually a little bit more than two thirds of your audio range between running and gunshots. So now that you have the data, what does this all mean? By enabling a compressor at relatively low levels, you can significantly cut down in the difference in volume between quiet things like footsteps and loud things like explosions, the cars, or gunfire. This enables you to avoid noise fatigue and avoid hearing damage by applying a slight compressor because PUBG's audio is just terrible. Again, this will work with any game, but I'm focusing on PUBG because the mixing is so bad and especially being competitive, people are prone to turn up their uh, headphones and you can potentially damage your hearing really easily. You could theoretically use very high compressor settings of 60, 80, 100%. Um, some people might do that to make locating footsteps really easy at greater distances. That gets to be a very uh, cheaty type of thing and I don't recommend it. I, I want to do this to fix bad sound mixing in the game and not go deaf, not to exploit it. Uh, the downside is, is if you crank it up to like, especially above like five or six, you're going to significantly degrade your audio because the compressor is messing with the waveform. Not only are you gonna degrade it, but you're gonna make locating things uh, both direction-wise and distance-wise much more difficult. So some of this is your personal preference. I'd recommend starting at one and a half and then adjusting between one and two from there. And that'll enable you to jump out of the plane, wade into gunfire, throw grenades, whatever, and not have to wince or just like, you know, have a very harsh shot where you're just like, mm, because I've had a couple of those where I had turned my headphones up a little bit too loud and didn't notice when I was listening for footsteps and I practically ripped my headphones off when I shot. One final note, when you finish playing your game, turn off your compressor because it does slightly lower your audio quality. And if you're not playing PUBG, you don't need the compressor on. I am working on more videos, so if you have any PUBG video requests, leave them in the description below. If you haven't seen me before, I'm Compulsion84, and I like to make videos about guns, gaming, and gadgets. Take a look around my channel, subscribe if you enjoy it, and thanks for watching.